Mr. Speaker, I have uh, actually a package of two amendments to uh, one to each of the bills that will come before us, if I may speak to both of them at the same time. Yes, please do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise to urge adoption of uh, the two amendments I'm offering here to Senate Bill 232 and Senate Bill 233. Uh, as all of you know, the bills we're going to be voting on uh, next week will correct a flaw in the sales tax on the difference legislation that we approved um, last year, or, or last term, I should say. And uh, this legislation, uh, I think, is needed for those of us who support repealing the, uh, or establishing sales tax on the difference. The problem is that the bills we have before us do more than that. They strip out a provision that was included in the, in, the, in, the, in the sales tax on the difference legislation that tie barred the gradual increase in the amount of value that can be uh, included in the sales tax on the difference um, law to legislation to expand Medicaid, the Medicaid expansion or Healthy Michigan program that we approved uh, last term. Now, that was a, uh, an agreement that was reached between parties uh, in this legislature. Now, not everybody here serving now was here when that agreement was reached, but most of us were. And nothing has changed. There is no reason to renege on the agreement that said that so long as we maintain our support for Medicaid expansion, we will continue to uh, gradually phase in the sales tax on the different uh, legislation. Well, for some reason, the Senate, when it took up this legislation, without a hearing, without any due consideration, inserted a provision on the floor to strip that agreement out, to renege on that deal. That is wrong. And certainly, regardless of how you feel about that agreement, it ought to have been done in the light of day. It ought to have been done with hearings and with due consideration. It was not. So I urge my colleagues, regardless of how you feel about this, to adopt this amendment or adopt both of these amendments so that we can restore the status quo, maintain the agreement that we reached, and make sure that we continue to fund an extremely successful program, which is the Medicaid expansion program. Uh, so with that, I urge adoption of the amendment, and I, I thank the speaker. Thank you, Representative Townsend. The question before the House is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.